called Boo My Food. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! Fling! make a great team. And you're part of the team, too. But somebody's missing. Sabu Mafu! Sabu! Hey, Sabu! Sabu! Hey, Sabu! Hey. How you doing, buddy? Good to see ya. I'll get Sabu a snack. <laughs> Zabu's got a strong grip. <laughs> yeah! Sweet potatoes! Whoa, strong feet! Hey, Zabu! I've got some sweet potato! Want a piece? There you go. <laughs> yeah! Zabu loves sweet potato. Excuse <laughs> me. Zabu Mafu! Hey, well, what's that? It's a ball, Zob. Oh, well, can I eat it? <laughs> Zabu, you can't eat a ball. <laughs> ball, not fruity. And you don't eat it, you play catch with it. Catch, catch. What's catch? That's what we're doing now, Zob. We're playing catch. And you are the lemur in the middle. Oh, catch. I'm the lemur in the middle, and we're playing catch. I want to catch. I want to catch. Have you ever played catch with a lemur? Yeah. Catch, catch. Throw it to me, and I'll... Uh... Sorry, Zob. Catch. Catch. Catch? I know somebody who could catch. Yeah, yeah. He caught a bug. And then he ate it. Who? A creature with a tail and hands. I can't believe my mind. He could catch. Yeah. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a long tail. A tail as long as my tail. And then he stepped on it. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. There was a bug, and he grabbed at it with his hands. What kind of a creature grabs with his hands? Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He's a funny, wrinkly-faced creature. Um, do you know who he is? Okay, okay. A scrunchy, wrinkly face. Like this. <laughs> a long, grabby tail and little people hands that grab onto things, too. Then the mystery animal must be... A monkey! Monkey Tsika! Hey, why didn't I say Manga Tsika? Hey, how you doing? Because a monkey's here! I knew it all along. This monkey is a white-fronted capuchin. And he's on the search for something. I wonder what he's looking for. This monkey is on a mission, but 
wonder what this monkey is searching for. What are you looking for? Hey, maybe he's itchy and he's just looking for a good scratch. Huh? Monkeys groom each other's fur and pick out all the dirt, dust, and bugs. What are you looking for? A good grooming isn't what he's looking for. So what is he looking for? He's thirsty. Maybe that's it. Was that what you were looking for? No, he's still looking for something. What is it, pal? What are you looking for? You found a bean. Is that it? Nope. He wasn't looking for a bean. We've got to figure this out. No! Oh, use your creature sense! My creature sense is tingling. <laughs> what was that? Who threw that? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. The monkey? He can throw? Oh, yeah. He can throw, all right? Just like a ball player. But can a monkey catch? That's the question. He caught a bug in the woods. Well, there's one way to find out. One, two, three. I can't believe my mind. Did you see that? He can catch. Whoa, whoa. this guy's got good hands. Yeah. Fling. Catch. Fling. Catch. He throws and catches. Well, throw it back. Oof! I'm okay, I'm okay. Fling! <sighs> Cut it! Fling! <laughs> Catch and fling! Catch and fling! Catch and fling! He likes it. I'm gonna call him Fling. Good name, Zab. I'm Zabu, you're a fling. Fling can throw, but I know someone who had trouble throwing in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 when all of a sudden, I heard a sniffling sound. I took one big leap and landed next to Narchi, who was standing next to Google and crying. What's the matter, Narchi? Why are you crying? <laughs> We're trying to play catch with the Googleberry, but I can't throw. My arms are too stubby. <laughs> well, I said we could play another game, but uh, he wants to play catch. Nope. <gasps> I've got an idea, Narchi. Don't use your arms to throw. Use your nose and blow. Oh, good idea. <laughs> oh, good idea, huh? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, oh. hey, here we go. And I'm the lever in the middle. <laughs> Oh, nice catch! It worked! I can play! Oh, let's do it again! So we played Goobleberry Catch all day! And I was the lemur in the middle! Here, catch! Ben! Hey, Zob, Fling's on the move again. I wonder where he's going. Where are you going, Fling? Huh? What's this capuchin monkey looking for? Wait a minute. Where did Fling go? He's right here, Zav. <laughs> He's playing hide and seek. But what is he looking for? What are you looking for? Oh. <laughs> He's going everywhere. <laughs> That's it. Fling's hungry. Oh, I get it. Fling must be looking for food. See, Fling is a white-fronted capuchin. And like all capuchin monkeys, he searches the forest looking for food. Yeah, like those white-faced capuchin monkeys we saw in the rainforest. Oh, who could forget those? There were about 20 of them, and they were all hungry. Yeah, they ripped into the trees looking for tasty bugs to eat. Whatever wasn't good to eat, they just threw away. Martin, is there food in your picture-taking thingy? No! My camera! Don't fling it, fling! Nice catch. That was a close one. Yeah. But it's not over yet. Incoming! Ah! Ah! Oh. Nice catch, Chris. Got it. Ah! Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. Throw me, Mom. 
monkey. I want to fly. He's hungry for something. And we've got to figure out exactly what he's hungry for. Throw me! Throw me! Throw me far! Yes, wee! Whoa! Fling flung you far! What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? I think he's flinging. <laughs> he's not hungry for pie. I know Fling will fling it, but how do you think Chris will catch a pie? Hey, Fling! <laughs> now I know how Chris catches pies with his face. <laughs> Did you see that, Martin? Chris catches pies with his face. <laughs> nice catch, Chris. And nice throw, Fling. <laughs> what a nutty monkey. Nuts. Maybe that's it. Fling wants nuts. He's gonna go for it! He's pushing the button! <laughs> Fling made it rain nuts! He likes nuts as much as I do! You're right, Zabu. Fling was hungry for nuts. <laughs> How about you monkeys love nuts? Nuts. That's why Fling was flinging things. <laughs> hey, Fling. Fling us some nuts. <laughs> Chris can catch with his face. Let's see if he can catch with his mouth. <laughs> Fling sure made a mess. That's because when a monkey is searching for something, he tears up the forest. When wild monkeys are hungry, they won't stop looking until they fill their bellies. And you know, as funny as monkeys are, this kind of mess is exactly one of the reasons people shouldn't keep monkeys as pets. Because monkeys mess up a room just like they mess up a forest. <laughs> and the other reason, which is really the most important, is that monkeys are happiest in their forest home. Living free and in the wild. I'm feeling kind of monkeyish. I'm really feeling monkeyish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel monkeyish. How about you? Monkeyish. Woo, 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 woo. Monkeyish. Fun, 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 monkeyish. I'm a quick handed monkey flinging things around! Monkey ish! Incoming! Hit the dirt! Duck! <laughs> Hi, Sandstorm. She's a lantern falcon. Ball? It's not fruity. Wanna play catch? Oh, can birds fling things? Hmm. I don't think. Whoa! The creature world's full of surprises. And so is Jackie. Alexandra and I caught these frogs down in Love Puppy Pond yesterday. We made them this nice home. But do you think they're happy? I don't think so. They were happier in Love Puppy Pond. That's their natural home. So we're going to take them home. Come on! They'd rather be at their house than your house. And their house is Mud Puppy Pond. to eat. This is where our frog's the happiest, living free and in the wild. And that's what we're going to do, take Fling back to his forest home. Because that's where he's the happiest, living free and in the wild. Is that going to be the trip? Yup. Let's get ready. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. You ready? Here goes. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait a second. What do we need out of the closet anyway? <laughs> Maps and a compass. These are the tools we'll need to find Fling's forest home. There's one more thing we need. Thing, thing. I know it rhymes with thing. What could it be? A little monkey named Fling. Hey, have you seen him? Oh, yeah, there he 
there he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. All right, come on. Let's go. This way. They're going on a cool adventure on, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Come on, Flinks! When you're on an adventure and you're trying to find a certain forest, you need maps to show you which way to go and a compass to point in the right direction. But a compass is a really delicate instrument and if it gets broken, we could get lost. So we have to be very careful with it and I'm gonna put it right over here while Chris and I look at the maps. I think if we head north and go past Tinker Creek, we might get there. Yeah, that could do it. Let's head out. Sounds good. You got the compass? Mm hmm That's the way we should go. Come on, Fling. This way. All right. Hey, hold a second. Compass says we should be going that way. Wait, shouldn't we be going this way? No, look. That way. Okay. Hurry up, Fling! When a monkey's walking home, he's not always walking. These monkeys like to climb and swing through the trees. Whoa! 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 Get off my leg. Hey, Martin monkeys. But they're not capuchin monkeys. They're red howler monkeys. And this isn't Fling's home forest either. You're right, Chris. My compass is missing. Something funny's going on around here. Something like that. Fling! <laughs> you just can't stop flinging things. <laughs> he broke it. No wonder we kept getting lost. Well, it's a good thing creature adventures always carry a spare compass. All right, so now we can figure out where we're really going. That was a good idea, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so Fling's forest home is definitely that way. We're almost there. Look, white fronted capuchins. We found Fling's family. He knows we're in the right place. Bye, Fling. See you again sometime. The best place for a monkey, and the place of monkeys the happiest, is right here, living free and in the wild. This is his home. And now that we've returned Fling to the place where he's the happiest, let's head back to a place where we're always happy. Animal Junction! Wait till we tell Zabu about Wait a second. Do you hear something? You guys are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, this Something's going on there. Let's find out what. Oh, oh, nice catch. Yeah, over here I'm open. Not again, duck! Oh, he meant that kind of duck, not that kind of duck. <laughs> Banana cream. Martin, wipe that pie out of your eyes, because he's not going to believe this. It's Monkey Junction! <laughs> Monkeys. Here's another kind. Owl monkey. And a swinging baboon. This is a squirrel monkey. They're fast grabbing little fruit eaters. Wait a second. Is he a squirrel or a monkey? <laughs> he's the size of a squirrel, but he's all monkey. And he doesn't bury nuts like a squirrel. He eats them. Look at how he gobbles up that crepe. 
Squirrel monkeys are great in the trees. They scramble around on the branches. A lot like squirrels do. Baboons hang out in big groups called troops, and they wander around the savanna together searching for food. The food can be scarce, so when a baboon finds some, he really stuffs his face. It's amazing how baboons can stuff so much food in their cheeks. Here, Ruddy, you want some? They just put it in there and save it for later. You want some more? It does not. I can see why they're named owl monkeys. Look at those huge eyes. They're just like big owl eyes. Great for seeing at night. Owl monkeys are the only nocturnal monkeys in the world. That means they're active at night, and that's why they're called owl monkeys. Look at him go! Watch out! What got into these monkeys? Hey, you wanna play frisbee now too? We thought Fling messed up Animal Junction before, but look what a mess many monkeys make. Well, you know the old saying, the more monkeys, the more mess. Do you know what time it is when you see a baboon with a basketball? Time to play ball. Yeah! Over here! I know somebody who could catch who lived in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leap, leap, leaping along, leap, when all of a sudden I bumped into Narchi. Oof! <laughs> Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Great to see you. Hey, Zabu, want to play Goobleberry Ball? <laughs> sure, I said. So we played. I threw the goobleberry ball to Narchi, and he threw it back to me. Hey, Zabu, catch this. It's my super duper double looper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh. That was our only goobleberry. How are we going to play now? But suddenly, the goobleberry blew right back to us. Hey, where did that come from? Who blew that goobleberry? Nobody. Okay, then, uh, who threw it? Me. Who's me? Yeah, who's me? Me. Phoebe. Huh? Phoebe was shy and wouldn't come out of the water. But that was okay, because every time our ball went splash, Phoebe got it. And we played loop-de-loop -loop ball all day long. <laughs> hey, Phoebe, throw it over. Yeah, throw it back. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> the end. <laughs> hey, the monkeys are on the move. Guess they're going back to their forest homes. Goodbye, owl monkey. Bye, squirrel monkey. See you, baboon. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's three different types of monkey. And did you know there are about 133 different kinds of monkeys in the world? And they all look so different. Some are big, some are small. Some have lots of fur, some don't. Some have small noses, and some have really big ones. But there's one thing that all monkeys do the same. Oh, oh, one thing is, they come to Animal Junction. Right, and <laughs> monkeys make a mess. You know what my favorite part of the day was? This part. When the Krat Brothers catch pies with their faces. <laughs> I love banana cream pies. <laughs> and mischievous monkeys. And lemurs who fling things. Hey, that was my favorite part. The hilarious way those monkeys threw things. And I was glad we helped Fling Fling, I mean find, his way back home to the wild 
where all monkeys belong. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing. We have to say, go, go make an animal friend, friend today. today! Yeah! Ooh, banana! Give me... See ya! Bye, Sabu! See you later, Sabu! And we better get bouncing, too! <laughs> hey, buddy! Hey, buddy, you wanna play? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go! <laughs> Wait, this is my pet chicken. We made it. How you doing? Welcome to Animal Junction. Hey, a carrot. This will be a good snack for later. Yeah. Okay, just got to get these oats over to the snack machine. Huh? Chris, there's a hole in the back of oats. I thought it was getting lighter. Whoa! Where did this come from? Oh, <laughs> that's what I was wondering. This tree must have fallen down in the night. It's huge. Let's call Zabu. Yeah, he'd love to see this because lemurs love trees. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Zabu, my food! Hey, Zabu, how you doing? <laughs> so, Zabu, what do you think about that tree that fell into Animal Junction? Zabu? You know Zabu. He never talks until he's finished his snack. I'll be right back. Papaya! Here you go. Oh, yeah. Zabu loves this orange fruit. He doesn't really like these little bally things inside, which are seeds, but he loves to munch it. Give me some of the I'm Vuki. Hi. Zabu, how'd you like the papaya? <laughs> Molly seeds are hard, but yummy fruit is soft. Well, you sure love eating it. I do, I do, too. <laughs> yeah, Zabu just plain loves eating. I do love eating. I do, too. <gasps> the creature I saw in the forest loves eating, too. He wasn't so sure on his legs, but he sure was eating. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? She had four long, knobby legs. And besides eating, she was running around and playing when I saw her. Her neck was long, and she had a big snout. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. She had a swishy tail and hair down her neck. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A knobby meat player who likes to say, Do you know who she is? Okay, let's see. Long legs and knobby knees. She went clip clop, clip clop when she walked. Mm -hmm. A foal. A foal? Yeah, a foal. Mm -hmm. A baby horse, of course. Hi. She must have followed the trail of oats into Animal Junction. Number Hika, Mr. Animal's here. So this is a baby horse? Wow, she ever fuzzy. Yeah, you're right, Zob. Look at her mane. It's so soft and fuzzy. And so is her tail. Fuzzy tail. <laughs> Look at this. Can I call you Fuzz? Because you're all fuzzy. Fuzz is a great name. Fuzz. Fuzz. Yeah, I like that name. Wow. Sure is big. This has got to be a first. A lemur riding a horse. <laughs> you look good, Zav. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, look! I'm riding a Zabumafusaurus! <laughs> hey, you want something to eat? Remember that carrot I found before? 
Now, I know I have that somewhere. Let's see. Where'd I put it? Okay, I found it over by the jungle path, and then I walked in. Now, where did I put it? Fuzz found the carrot. Hey, you found it. Are you hungry? No, she's not hungry. Well, maybe she wants to play. Maybe that's it, Zob. Foals are just like so many other baby animals. They love to play, and playing actually helps their muscles become big and strong. Of course, foals love to play, and when foals play, they love to run around. Hmm? Run around? How do we run around with this huge tree right in the middle of Animal Junction? We can hop. It's easy. Hop. <laughs> Come on, Fuzz. Hop. Hop. We can hop and hop around anything. Woohoo! That leaping lemur. That's easy for you, Zob. And easy for us. And a full-grown horse could jump over this tree, but it's just too big for a young foal. Well, if she's so young, where's her mommy? Well, foals are never far away from their mom. Yeah, minutes after a foal is born, he stands up. And he always sticks close to his mom so she can protect him and teach him things. Oh, so Fuzz's mom must be close by. All right, we have to figure this out. Hmm? How do we get this foal's mom into Animal Junction? And get this huge tree out. Hmm. <gasps> Mein Gutsika, I know, I know, yeah! <laughs> Lay it on a sob. First, you and Chris move this log out of Animal Junction, and then you go find your mom. All right, let's start with the log. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Easier said than done. Well, why? There's only one little problem with your idea, Zob. We just don't have the muscles it takes to get this huge tree moving. Well, I'll help. All right. Yeah, try again. OK. okay. Ready? <laughs> one, two, three. Oh. Use those lemur muscles up! Push, Sabu, push! <laughs> Hold everything! I just had an idea. Uh, where's your idea? I, uh... It's inside my head, Zabu. Huh? I think I figured out how to get the mother horse in and this tree out. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We'll be right back. <laughs> so, uh, you want to hear a story till your mom comes? <clears throat> I was leap leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I heard somebody say... Hey, Zabu Dabba Dabba Doo. Hey, who said that? Dooba Dee, it's me. Who's me? It's me, Zobsta. Oh, uh -huh. hi, Bugly. Zabu, my leaping little lemur. Want to go for a Whoa. run? <laughs> well, I guess so. Whoa. Hang on. Whoa, you run fast. <laughs> Why, thank you, Zabubidi D. <laughs> I run fast because I have grippy feet Whoa. and long legs. That gets me running like the wind. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Can you go any faster? Does a bug have a lot of legs? Sure I can. Ooh. Hang on to me, Zap Booba Dee Dee. We <laughs> ran faster and faster and faster yeah. until <laughs> we were flying. We were flying high. And that's my story about a lemur riding a bug. <laughs> like that one, Fuzz? That was a first two. <laughs> hey, look. No, not over here, over there. Look who we found. <laughs> This is a Belgian, and she's the foal's mom. Oh. Wow, that's the biggest idea I ever saw. And isn't the foal happy to see her mom? Belgian horses are one of the largest in the horse family. They're the largest I've ever seen. <laughs> but you know what, Sob? Not all horses are big. Martin, remember when we saw those miniature ponies? Yeah, we were horseback riding, and you said to me, Hey, Martin. Stop the horse. This is a miniature pony crossing. What? Are you sure? Yeah. A miniature pony crossing. Yeah, stop the oh. horse. OK. Whoa. Good boy. All right. Where are the miniature ponies? Here they come. <laughs> okay, now we can go. Okay, let's go. 
Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know, Belgians are one of the biggest, strongest, most powerful horses in the world. But she's incredibly gentle and tame. But you know, before you pet a horse, always make sure a grown-up says it's okay. I can't believe my mind. Fuzz is drinking milk from her mom. The foal's happy to be with her mom again. Hmm, I think the horses are getting sleepy. Could be. You know, a horse can actually sleep standing up. They sleep standing up? Wow. She just locks up her legs so she doesn't fall down, and then she goes to sleep. Oh. <laughs> Martin must be tired. <laughs> but Martin can't sleep standing up. Hey, but the foal likes to sleep lying down. Do you mind if I use your uh, hoof as a pillow? Oh, oh, thanks. We like to sleep on horse hooves. <laughs> this can only happen in animal junk. So, <laughs> huh? up here. Oh. Look at that big eyeball. Yeah, she does have big eyes. Did you know that horses have the biggest eyes of any land mammal? A horse eye is even bigger than an elephant eye. And it's not only her eyes that are incredible. Can you believe that a horse's hoof is like one giant fingernail? So, a horse stands on two fingernails and two toenails. Well, she has only four nails. Well, I've got to one, two, three, four, five, five on each hand. And my feet, too. <laughs> See? One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, there you are. <laughs> I scared myself. <laughs> My fingernails are for running! <laughs> hey, you feel her hot breath out of those big nostrils? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. warms my head. Yeah. You know what I like, too? Her chin and her lips are so jiggly. Look at that. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Look, hey, you want to see her teeth? Wow. Look at those teeth. Oh, wow. Big teeth for a big creature. <laughs> hey, you know why her lips are all like this, too? Mm -hmm. These lips can grab onto grass. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know they ate grass. Oh, yeah, a lot of grass. And a horse's lips help find and help gather that grass, and then her teeth cut it. This kind of eating is called grazing. Grazing? Yeah, grazing. You know, and sometimes a foal will make a mistake and graze on the wrong thing, like sand. But by the time he's about six months old, he'll learn how to graze on grass, too. Well, we found the foal's mom, but we still have to move this tree. Well, now that we have a little help, we can. It looks like big help to me. <laughs> yeah, it's time to get this tree out of here. OK, girl, we'll get you geared up. Huh. Huh. I'll tie this end of the rope to the tree. And then this end, over here. Ah, Chris ties one end to one end, and Martin ties one end to another end. Yeah. OK, how's it going, Martin? Hey, hey, hey I'm a little stuck. <laughs> Guys, Chris, Martin, I, I'm, I'm a little bit, OK. Well, uh, Chris, Martin, I, well, uh, Chris, I didn't think. Guys, guys, Chris, Martin. Chris, you're Whoa, Zach, you, you're a little tied uh, up. Uh, there you go, buddy. Phew, I was. I'm a little stuck. Uh, uh, I, uh, I meant to do that. Okay, this is secure. This hooks in here. So, Fuzz, what do you think? Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, let's get this tree out of here so we can run. These look good here. How you doing back there, Chris? Almost there, just a few more hooks. How's it looking, Zob? Are you sure she's gonna be able to pull it? Let's find out. All right, all set. All right, you ready? All systems go. Come on. Dig in. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Pull! Yeah, you can do it! Come on! Dig in. 
Thanks a lot for helping us. You want some oats? All right. You did a great job. Need some food after pulling such a huge tree, don't you? How about an apple? Want an apple, too? <laughs> she ate the whole thing. <laughs> Listen to the sound that horses make when they chew. You want to try it? has room to run around. Now that the tree is gone, the foal can run. I want to be like a horse, yeah! Come, Come on, on, let's run, run like, like a horse! horse. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel horsish, how about you? Horsish! I feel horsish! Ah. Horsish! I'm a fussy little foal and I love to run around. <laughs> Strong Belgian, I can move a tree. Horses! Goodbye, little fuzz. Thanks for all your help. Thanks for clearing that tree out of here. Yeah, we really couldn't have done it without you. Come back soon. Incoming! Duck! <laughs> it's a vulture, not a duck! <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those wings. Woo! Wow. Hey, that message from Jackie must be around here somewhere. Oh. Ah, here it is. All right, let's see what she's up to. Yeah. It's from Jackie. I love riding on horses, especially with Sheba. Oh, no. Sheba, don't eat that. Does that look like food to you? I don't think so. I'll take care of this. A styrofoam cup might not look like food to us, but it might for a horse. Sheba could have eaten the cup on the stick. That's why it's important to put garbage where it belongs and where animals can't get at it. A carrot tastes better anyways. Horses, I love horses. Yeah, we have to do more stuff with horses. I have an idea. Why not go riding? Great idea, Zob. To the closet? To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their Here stuff we go. and split. <laughs> Come on! Let's go! They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's, what's in store. Yeah, they're, they're running from, from the closet, closet and they're headed out the door. Riding horses is the coolest. It's a great way to see the wilderness. Yeah, and you don't even have to be going anywhere. You just ride for the fun of it. Riding a horse makes me feel like a baby baboon on his mom's back. Because baby baboons ride on their mom's back when they're between 6 and 12 weeks old. A baby baboon grabs onto his mom's fur and hangs on tight. It's a great way to get around. Martin, let's pick up the pace. All right, we're moving into a trot. Now I feel like a baby lemur riding on her mom's back. When a young lemur like Zabu rides on his mom's back, he really has to hang on tight because his mom leaps all over the place. And we have to hang on tight, too, because a horse can really move when he wants to about 45 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car can go. Horses are better than cars. They don't need gas. Just hang out to you to be their buddy. And a horse can go through terrain that a car just can't get through. And this terrain's pretty bumpy. I'm bouncing around like a baby kangaroo in her mom's pouch. 
A baby kangaroo is called a joey, and he stays in his mom's pouch where it's warm and cozy. But when she gets going, it can get pretty bumpy in there. Woohoo! Now it's time to really ride! No wonder they stopped. They're thirsty. Just like people, horses need a good drink every now and then. You guys all filled up? All right, let's head back to Animal Junction. Wonder what that leaping lemur's up to. Zabu's gonna love to hear about this. Yeah, I wonder what he's been do- Oh yeah. More horses? horses? Wow. Hey guys, two striped horses came to visit. Wow, a zebra mom and her foal. Hmm. <laughs> They're a zebra family, <laughs> and zebras are part of the horse family. Look at all those stripes. Why zebras have stripes is still a mystery. Some people think it confuses their predators like lions. When a lion looks at a herd of zebras, she sees so many stripes, she doesn't know where one zebra ends and the other begins. Other people think that stripes help zebras recognize each other. How long have you guys been hanging out, Sabu? Hmm, enough for about a thousand tail wags. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, those tails just keep going and going, huh? They never stop. And tail wagging helps shoo flies away. Look what these zebras do. They stand this way so that when they're waving their tails, they shoo flies off of each other's faces. Look at her tail. It never stops moving. The mom's really good at it. But the foal is learning fast. There she goes. <laughs> I love zebra manes. You know how most horses' manes flop down over to one side? Well, a zebra mane stands straight up in the air. And it has stripes. You know, Zob, every zebra's stripes are a little bit different. Well, how come? Well, it's kind of like Martin and I. We're in the same family. Yeah, we're both Kratt brothers. But we look different. I have blue eyes, and I have brown eyes. And I have yellow eyes. And, like us, the zebras look a little bit different. You can tell they're both zebras, but if you look really closely, you can see a different pattern of stripes. Do you see the difference? Wow. Zebra legs are so strong and muscular. That's how zebras can run so fast. Yeah, zebras are big, powerful creatures. Big? That reminds me of my biggest friend in Zabu land. I was leaping <laughs> along, leap, leap, and I stopped to take a rest in a tree. Oh, well, well so all of a sudden, I could hear Goobel and Nogandril talking well, on the ground below me. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, what am I gonna do? I jumped down to see what they were talking about. Hi, guys, is there a problem? Well, Zabu, I want to go visit my aunt, but it's too far to walk. Well, he doesn't know how he's going to get there. I've got an idea. Zabumafuasaurus! Here she comes! <laughs> Whoa! Hi, Zabumafuasaurus. Can you give Nogandril a ride on your back somewhere? Sure, hop on, Noggy. Well, how am I going to get way up there on her back? Oh. Way too high. We'll do it the way I do. Yeah. Take one big lemur leap. <laughs> well, great. Oh, problem solved. Let's go. I can't jump up that high. I'm no lemur. There is another way. <laughs> Get on Zabumafusaurus's tail, and she can lift you up. Woo! See? It's easy. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes. Come on up. Okay. Here you go. Oh, oh. Yeah. Thanks, Zob, you're right. That was easy. Oh, thanks, so we all climbed up on Zabumafuasaurus and went to visit Nog and Drill's aunt. <laughs> oh, hold on tight, guys. Blueberry muffins. That sounds like a fun tale, Zob. Yes, yeah, Zabumafuasaurus is big like the Belgian horse. Great big. Well, I loved how she pulled the tree out of Animal Junction. And I loved Fuzz. <laughs> Fuzz was great. And I love those zebras. There is nothing better than horseback riding. Those horses love to run. Oh, I love horses. <laughs>
This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his fine and behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today! Bye, Zabu! Keep on leaping, Lemur. You ready for another trip? Yeah. Let's go home with the zebras. We'll see you later. Where do you think they're headed? I don't know. Somewhere in Africa, I guess. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and this is my cat, Simba. Simba's a tabby cat. 